Hey guys, it's Priscilla Cloth here today, and so some Monster Legends analysis video. We're going to be going over Turtle Myrtle, and I'm going to be telling you guys why you should get him out of his current breeding event. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Turtle Myrtle is a tank, and his traits are Taunt, Burn Immunity, and Damage Protection. So his only bad trait is Burn Immunity. The other two are really good. And then his relics are Armor and Armor, which are both, of course, great for a tank. And then if we go on down to his pros and cons, his access to maximum life increase and damage protection, which is really great and not only that but he also has a bunch of heals and then double armor helps a lot with his roll which is his relic and then he also has a great trait and he also has a great trait and his only cons are reverse healing and negate healing ruins his move pool but not many monsters use those at least not many meta monsters have reverse healing and he is the slowest monster in the abyssal era but that doesn't really matter since of course he is a tank he doesn't really need to go first he kind of wants to go last so that he can get his heals off and then due to his increasing a life pool tortures like curse bane and nightmares can damage him badly which is very true and then if we go on down to his uh, moves he has a 40 water damage plus drown plus bleed which is pretty good he also has a self heal 20 percent with no cooldown or he can use an aoe 30 water damage with drown and then he also has a self damage protection with heal 30 percent and he has a heal 50 percent with a maximum life increase so honestly for the second move i would use waves of despair instead of the heal just because you already have two really good heals down here and honestly you don't really need another one so yeah the main point of this monster is staying alive and you can do that very easily not only can he heal but he can also increase his maximum life to even higher and since the heals are percentage based it will go ahead and heal that as well and of course self damage protection is great it makes the enemies not want to attack you and it makes them not do as much damage when they do the only real problem with this monster is that he doesn't have mega taunt and he only has regular taunt but regular taunt is still very good and a lot of attackers don't even have aoe moves or a lot of aoe moves so they can't really hurt you anyway so taunt is of course really helpful so yeah definitely go ahead and get this monster especially since he's out of a breeding mate he is very easy to get just go ahead and breed him and go ahead and try him out on your team and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him and yes guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye